Okay, in this tutorial we're going to expand our EIGRP network and we're going to use additional commands and look at additional capabilities um, and situations for EIGRP um, in the network. I've listed some commands that we're going to go over. Last time we did the router EIGRP or EIGRP1 command and then we added the networks with the wildcard bits. And this time in this tutorial we're going to look at the redistribute static command so we can distribute a default route throughout the EIGRP network. We're also going to look at no auto summary. In most instances with an EIGRP or EIGRP network you're probably going to want to have no auto summary configured and I'll explain the reasons for that and show some situations where if you don't have no auto summary configured you could have some um, potential problems in the network. Then we're going to look at some show commands for EIGRP, uh, show IP EI, uh, EIGRP topology and show IP EIGRP topology all links. We're also going to look at the neighbors and then we're going to um, play with the bandwidth on the links since dual um, which is the algorithm that helps find uh, loop-free routes in EIGRP. Since dual uses bandwidth as its number one metric of choice, we can adjust the bandwidth of some of these links and then see how EIGRP responds in the routing tables. We're also going to look at um, we're going to look at successor routes and feasible successor routes and talk about what that is and so there's a bunch that we're going to do but we're going to have to expand the network to get that done. Okay here we go what we're going to do is I'm going to click on routers here and I'm going to grab another generic router and I'm going to drag it right up here okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this router and I'm going to call this router ISP so this is going to be our ISP router and then I'm going to put a fake path out of this router out to let's say the internet to the cloud and to do that fake path right what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this drawing tool this line tool and I'm going to just draw a simple line just like that okay there's my line and I'm going to take that line and just put it like this like so and then I'm going to click on WAN emulation grab a generic cloud and put it here. So that's going to be a symbol for the internet. And I'll just change this and I'll say this is the internet, right? And this is our way out. Now, I just faked it with just a line and a cloud. And what I'm going to do is for this interface, I'm going to make it a loopback interface so we can um, test out uh, configuring loopback interfaces and basically make a fake uh, interface going out to the internet. Um, so also we have to hook up these two routers so to do that what I'm going to do is this router has an open Ethernet port at fast Ethernet 1 0 and then this one has a fast Ethernet 0 0 and I will connect those two together now router to router Ethernet to Ethernet we're going to need a crossover cable so I'm gonna grab this crossover cable and I'll go to the first available Ethernet port here fast Ethernet 1 0 and to the first available here fast ethernet 00. So now we have um, that hooked up and we're going to configure these interfaces. Now for this point to point link router to router we only need two addresses so I think I'll make another network here slash 30 to handle that. So I'll go in here and I'll say network 7 okay 192.168 dot five dot and this would be 236 right add 4 to 232 and that would be the next network and that would go all the way to dot 239 and that will be a slash 30 network so that'll be our network and we'll make this host 237 and this one 238 so let's do that now so we'll go in here and say Enable conf t for configure terminal interface fa one slash zero IP address one nine two one six eight dot five dot two thirty seven is the first available address. 
236 is the network number, 239 is the broadcast, 237 is the first available, and now we need to give it subnet mask. Okay, and no shutdown. All right, that's configured. Now we'll do the same thing on this router. Okay, and now this interface is up. And if I want to, I can label these interfaces. So, um, just, okay, so this network right here in between the two is network seven, okay? For this network here going out to the cloud, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the loopback interface. So what I'm going to do here is I'll say we're going to use LO0, right, loopback 0, and I'm going to change it to a different network um, space, not a 192.168.5 subnet. I'll just use a different one. We don't have too many addresses left because we're all the way up to 239, so we'll only have 240 to 255 left. We only have 16 addresses left. And so I'm just going to use 192.168.6.0 network, let's say, slash 24. And that's how I'm going to configure this loopback interface right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure this with LO0. So this will be a loopback interface. And this network right here will be the 192.168. 6.0 network slash 24. Okay, so that's going to be this network right here and this interface. So we'll open this up and we're already in interface configuration mode and I'm going to say interface L O 0 and loopback 0 is now up and I'm going to give it an IP address 192 uh, 192 dot one six eight dot six dot one the first available address with a classful 24-bit subnet mask all right and I forgot to put at the beginning IP address space all right that looks good enter no shut okay so now this fake interface is up. Um, it's a virtual interface to loopback zero. And so this will be our virtual way out of the network. Okay, so now we're going to add a few things to this router, this new ISP router that we have here. What I'm also going to add is, I'm going to do control C and then a conf T for configure terminal. I'm going to set up a static route, a default route, to the cloud. So I'll say static route. So IP route to 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 space 0 .0 0.0.0 right so to the 0 network the 0 subnet mask and we'll say this is going to be going out of LO0 so out of the LO0 interface. Alright so there is my static route outside of the interface. Now the next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this router participate in EI GURP just going this way and I'm gonna need to add this network to this router R1's EI GURP process or EIGRP routing process so let's do that. So what I'll do is I'll say I'm on the ISP router right now I'll say router EIGRP1 and then I'm going to add network 192.168.5.236 
So I need to add the 236 network. And the wildcard bits for that is, let's see here, 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.3. If it's 255, 255, 255, 252, then if through subtraction, or the inverse of that would be 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.3. And you can always check that with this wildcard bit subtractor that I created here. So we've got 255, 255. So then you put in what the subnet mask would be, which would be, let's say, 252. And if you subtract that out, you would get 0 .0 0.0.0.3, right? So we'll put that in here. All right, so now this router is running EIGRP or EIGER going this way, right? But it's not participating with the six network. So the six network will not be discovered by these routers. They won't have any idea about that. So let's add this network also to this router. We'll open up this router. And we'll say router EIGRP1. And then we're going to add the network command. Nope, don't have it in there. Network 192.168.5.236.0.0.0.3. Okay. So now you can see here we get the message that dual, there's the dual algorithm, um, the diffusing update algorithm has a change, right? It went to work and it also figured out about a new network and it established a new neighbor adjacency. So now this router is participating in EIGRP but only going this way. So this router, if we look at its routing table, has a static route, a default route out of the network right and it has learned about all these other routes right but these routers do not know about this default route out of the network that exists so what we're going to do is we're going to now use one of our additional EIGRP commands that we're going to be using and that is the redistribute static command okay so we click on this router and we say conf t configure terminal and then we'll say router eigrp whoops one to enter into config router mode and then we'll just say red tab redistribute st tab static and hit enter so now this isp router should be distributing its default route to these other routers. So if we go to this router over here, we should find it now in our routing table. So we'll type enable and a show IP route. And you can see now, sure enough, this router over here in the bottom left hand corner, R0, it now has a D, uh, which stands for EIGRP, or in this case, the D stands for EIGRP. It also, the actual D refers to dual, the dual algorithm. And you can see that it's got an asterisk, so it's a candidate default route, or gateway of last resort, right? And notice the EX, it's an external route. It's been learned through EIGRP, but it is not an EIGRP route. It's a static route, so it gets an external. And you can see that it also gets the 170 instead of the 90 administrative distance. So it gets an AD, an administrative distance of 170, for an external EIGRP route. All right. So these routers now know about this, um, this default route out of the network thanks to the redistribute static command. Now we're going to look at the auto summary issue and we're going to expand the network even further.